24 hour challenges and pranks are back. We're about to kick it into full gear this summer. Every single challenge from here on out will get increasingly more difficult. If you're excited about more challenges, drop a like and if we hit 10,000 likes, we'll do whatever the top comment is related to challenges. Today we get $100 at Walmart to survive in the ocean for 24 hours, but there's a twist. We aren't allowed to buy air mattresses. This should increase the difficulty. While Edwin and Merrick couldn't make it for this whole challenge, Merrick does end up showing up and hanging out for a little while. And Edwin swears we will make it to Mexico. Because I know Walmart so well, I get 15 minutes. And because this is Scummy's first challenge, he gets 20. The second you walk in the door, the timer starts, and you have to be at checkout before your time runs out. However, if you can make it completely out of the store before your time runs out, you get to steal one item for the other person. Rochambeau to see who goes first, and it's off to the races. Rochambeau. Gun. That'd be fun. 12 bucks. Maybe I'll get it on the way out. Okay. Okay. Four feet long. Large size. All right. That's an option. Electric. Whoa. Inflatable lounger. All right. Where's a kiddie pool? Where is a kiddie pool? 2488. 2488. Awesome. Thank you. What a deal. I just got a swimming pool for $24. I could probably get a chair. Oh my, oh, 36 bucks for the luxury, for the comfort. Oh my gosh, I should probably get like, I need a tarp, a broom and duct tape or trash bags. Trash bags worked pretty well last time. Always important, you could save a dollar, but I'm just gonna go with the Gorilla Tape. Some comfort might be, might be cool. I grab a couple pillows or something. Here we go, a dollar. 78. Ah, throw a blanket. Yes, baby Yoda. We got water. Might need some bananas or something. Oh, yes, $3 pillows. Two of those. Boom. $13. Two bucks. Dang, I didn't make it out in less than 15 minutes. But I did get everything that I think I need to survive. I got comfort, I got food, I got water, I got shade. Scummy's never gonna know what hit him. All uh, right, you got your timer? Let's get that stopwatch pulled up. Damn, you already got a card outside. That's 200, it's a GoPro 200 IQ. 200 um, IQ. Boom. Set. Oh, go, dude. You better start moving. Oh, I could have afforded this. Trying to get a tent. <laughs> a one person tent on that dude? Dude, that'd be nuts. Be my shape, then you got it. Yeah. It's gonna be a while. <laughs> Oh. It's an umbrella only. <laughs> you can go ahead of me if you want. You can go ahead of me if you want. Poncho and ring. That's all I really need. Oh my god. Wait, well, you said you don't know which one you're going with yet? Nah, no, probably this one, buddy. The price range is, you know? out of Walmart with no time to spare. Unfortunately, for both of us, and fortunately, neither of us made it out with time to spare. So neither of us will be taking an item from the other one. 
say the real main difference in this challenge is our choice of flotation devices. I got really lucky. I picked up this bitty. I had like six different floats in my cart. And I grabbed this boy up from the middle because it said like there was like a clearance rack, you know? So I found an employee. I was like, yo, can you price check this for me? $22. This guy got two lounges. I don't know how dry he's going to stay on these lounges. Thanks, Dick. But I know for a fact that this swimming pool will stay dry. It is 7,000 degrees outside, so shade is very important for this challenge. Scummy chose a poncho and an umbrella. I got three broomsticks, a bag of trash bags, duct tape, rope, and a dream. Right, we're gonna plug in the pumps, we're gonna start the timer, and we're gonna roll the we're time lapse, the and we'll see you in the ocean. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Where'd that Shane. come from? It's a bowl. Oh my god, it's a blanket that goes on top of the float? <laughs> oh my god. god. No wonder it's $20. No wonder it's a luxury <laughs> lounge. What is yeah. that, dude? Luxury. I was wondering I was gonna eat for a Fuck you, Walmart. <laughs> eat Walmart. Oh, 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 you wanna talk about my fucking luxury? Look at this thing. Oh, it's gonna sink. It's fucking huge. It's a whole yacht. I got a fucking hotel on water right now, <laughs> bitch. Oh my god, Scummy, you're about to get so f***ed. You wow. are. When it rains, they're gonna sink, dude. Oh yeah. This looks like it's working. No. You broke it. You have a hole. What? You have a hole. No. Oh. So, I may have tried to fill up the hole that you drained the water out of. What you're saying is a smoke. I didn't have- can you delete that? That looks better. Probably, yeah. Uh, I don't know what the f I was thinking all the time if we did air mattresses. This is so much better. Ah! Hey, bro, that's fire. If you hit this thing, it'll f Well, I think I it. got him, dude. You only have one. Did we establish sabotage? I didn't buy toilet oh. paper on purpose. This is luxury, scummy. You're f Oh my god. Oh my god. How stupid do you feel right now? Not at all. I have two. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hey, if you sink, you can get in. That's nice of you. Maybe I won't throw some pops at you then. Did you, you have? Did you download Tinder? I'm gonna be doing a lot of swiping right. This is one of Scummy's first 24-hour challenges. One of the stipulations of our challenges for all of time is that if we can get a Tinder date to join us during a 24-hour challenge, you automatically win. Um, I don't have Tinder though. Does Bumble work? Bumble's fine. Okay, I got I got you. Can you use Tinder. Hinge, Grinder, whatever. If you want dudes to come, I don't judge, dude. It's 2022. Look at that though. Dick is fat and tall and yeah, old. I'll put and Dick to sleep. Fine. Go to bed. Go to bed, Gron. There you go. <laughs> Dick, get the f out of my boat. I gotta start building. <laughs> Dick, out the f out my boat. Dick, let's carry him out. Let's carry oh him out. God, no this one is so fire. I'm Look gonna have a whole roof. I'm gonna have a porch. Savage. Dick Savage. <laughs> What do you got to say about this, Trinity? What are we doing here? Come on, tell me what we're doing. So the boys are going to survive 24 hours in the ocean with $100 from Walmart. What? They got it. And would you do it? Why aren't you doing it? Trinity, we want you on the boat. Not these two old melon heads. Why don't you get a pretty girl on the boat and not that melon head over there? Huh? Yeah. Okay. She can go. That's a thunderhead. You're a thunderhead. Thunderheads come from thunderstorms. Thunderstorms produce lightning. That's thunder. Lightning is There's typically lightning. led by or followed by rain. That's why I do it. The 
rain and the lightning and the thunder is coming towards us. Let's go. Let's let's start. Let's do this. Ah. I think they're about 100 miles out now. We can see them because we have a super, super zoom over lens. But they probably can't see land anymore. <laughs> the hardest paddle of my life. Yeah, true. Yeah, I can keep it dry until you dry off. Oh, shit. Oh, this sucks, Dick. Oh. Okay. All right, okay. Here we are. How we doing, Scummy? Oh, we're trying to get on. Oh, no! Don't fall! Oh, your boat, Scummy! No! Quick! Oh, you barely made it. Oh my God, you barely made it. My main goals for these challenges is to try to stay dry off the bat. Makes the challenge a little bit easier. What? Scummy is a legend. Doesn't ah. give a He said, I am Davy Jones. No, Davy Crockett. Talk about a waterbed. Look at everything in this. Jump out too much because I might. Actually, I'm getting back on. Yeah, don't get out. It's fucking kick it, dude. You think we're gonna make it 24 hours? I respect your optimism, Scummy. I did bring my box to create shade. I also have a throw blanket, thanks to Baby Yoda, that I will be using as shade at some point. See, I got my canopy. But, you know, the hottest part of the day is gonna be tomorrow, during the second half of this challenge. So that's gonna be, you know, that's gonna be when it's really important to have shade. But I might as well start building my canopy now. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Damn it! I was working so hard to make this dry. You're welcome. Scummy said, if I'm going to be wet, you're going to be f***ing be wet. F***ed <laughs> up. <laughs> What's also f***ed up is how much room I have. Scummy, if you dry off by tonight, you can climb in here. Nah, that's just Yeah, whatever, loser. I kind of tried to shave before this challenge, but my razor broke, so I'm just going to go with the Tom Hanks look for this one. How's your swamp ass situation? What swamp ass? Like the fact that you're sitting in a puddle. I'm not. That's good. Do you think you'll ever dry off? If I take the umbrella down, yeah. <laughs> There's no stability in this ship, which is fine, because one of the best night's sleeps I actually ever got in my entire life was during a 24-hour challenge on air mattresses. Best night's sleep ever, great dreams, woke up, there was dolphins jumping next to me. It's magical. Oh God, Edwin said, Edwin knows that we're doing this challenge. That's an issue. He's coming? Not to participate. Yeah. Probably to destroy us. Yeah. If you can get a Tinder date on your raft during the 24 hour challenge, you win. There's only one way to really do that. Oh, it's a match. That was so fast. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, it's another match. Holy sh! I'm just fast swiping right, Scummy. Heck yeah, dude. I Sp speed swipe. 
Speed swiping! Hey there, I know this sounds insane, but I'm doing a 24, I'm doing a survival challenge for my YouTube channel. Either I must survive 24 hours in the ocean on a raft I built, or have a Tinder date, come meet me. I'm at Please save me and help me win this challenge. P.S. You're beautiful. Trini's gonna show you what is below us and what my raft looks like from below. There are thunderstorms on the horizon. We'll see what happens. We're about four hours in. 7.30, we started at 4.30. Oh, we're just gonna keep hanging out. The radar looks a little scary. We'll see if it hits us. Hey, it's going. Hey, it is, sun's about to go down. So because I had $14 and Scummy had $4. No, 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 I had more, I had seven. Scummy had $7. We were given 60 seconds at the gas station. So the only real problem that I've had is that if I lay in the middle of the pool, it would fold up like a taco. So I've used my extra broomstick as a cross brace along with this paddle. So now when I sit in the middle, the whole thing doesn't close up like a taco. How convenient. We still have quite a gnarly set of thunderstorms on the horizon. So we're pretty much just cooling it until we see what those things do, but they're looking pretty gnarly from here. Still hard to tell. Thing is though, it's like even if it rains, everything that I have is waterproof. But this is our first 24 hour challenge in a while. We're planning on doing many, many more and making them harder and harder and more gnarly and more gnarly and less supplies and less money. Eventually to the point where we're gonna be doing survival challenges with no money and no Walmart and nothing and just showing up. Maybe we'll get like one item. Something I wanted to ask you guys, what ideas do you have for survival challenges? A lot of the videos that we do are based off of your guys' suggestions or inspired by your guys' suggestions. So you, if you have any variation of any 24 hour challenge, comment down below. Whether it's in the ocean, whether we build a boat out of duct tape, whether we're stranded on an island, whether we're stuck on the beach, whether we have to dig a hole, I don't care, whatever you think would be awesome. Or comment down below what your favorite 24 hour challenge or survival challenge that you've ever seen is and we'll seek inspiration from that and do better than anyone has ever done before. I don't think we've ever done 24 hours on a floating trampoline in the middle of the ocean. That is quite a gnarly set of thunderstorms right there. That thunderhead above the blue condo is blowing up. We'll see. The thing is, is, it's either not gonna rain a drop or it's absolutely gonna pour. There's really no in the middle. Cause on radar, it looks pretty f***ed. But it might slide north and south of us. We might get bubbled, we'll see. Or we're gonna end up running towards the house, failing this challenge. Because I'm sorry, I don't really f with lightning. I mean, I love lightning and I f with lightning, but I don't like being in the middle of the ocean in lightning. Scummy, I know what we must do. I'm gonna flip my pool upside down on top of your raft and we will both be on your raft perfectly dry. Okay, so we either cuddle or we drown. I'd rather drown. I think I'd rather drown too. Well, depends, depends. Can I be Big Spoon? Uh, no. Okay, what's poking me? <laughs> oh, it's getting gnarly in the skies. Well, you, they say that when there's lightning, you shouldn't be in an open space. And I don't believe there is a more open space than the ocean. Because it has nowhere else to go. Yeah, so because we are clearly the highest point around, the lightning will choose us. Are you a shark? I don't think sharks laugh. Dude, those thunderheads are so gnarly. Oh my god, we're gonna get so f***ed. <gasps> Seems fine. Everything, everything's fine. Fine. Wait, you're, you're actually not gonna get wet? No, a little bit maybe. 
I'm f***ed. Is that a blanket? Scummy. I'm not going to pretend like if it starts pouring, I'm not completely f***ed. Yeah, you're not. It's over there it looks bad. It's fine. Over here is good. We're good. Look, it's sunny. Oh. Wow. What I miss. The sky just looks insane. Hey, Scummy. The sky don't look too good. Nah, I'm looking this way. It looks way nicer. Okay. Wow, that's pretty. Yeah, the other side looks not so hot. Okay. Hey, it was good. It's uh, it's good. We're fine. I'm uh, over here, dude. The bulk of the lightning is coming straight at us. Oh wait, no, that's bad. Yeah, no, it's bad news. We're not doing good. Okay. There's a lot of lightning. Four strikes in 12 seconds. Oh, oh my god. We're gonna get f***ed. There is so much lightning coming towards us. Oh my god. More than usual? It's a really electric storm. Yeah. It's like about as electric as it gets. onshore winds now it's offshore winds so not only are we the furthest out that we've been the entire challenge we have to fight the wind to get in if the lightning gets too close and it seems like it's getting too close soon make no mistake i'm still terrified i'm definitely not sleeping <laughs> just you know contemplating the fact that we are inside a thunderstorm all right, this is where we're at. We're out in the water. There's just way too much fucking lightning around right now. It's just, it's irresponsible. It is irresponsible to be out here. I'm always down for a challenge, but I, I am terrified of being struck by lightning. As easy as it would be to just go to bed right now. It's crazy, right? When I start talking, the lightning quiets down, but this comes in pulses. Oh gosh. All right. What do you think guys? What do you think in the comments? Are we little b****s for leaving? Or is lightning a very good reason? You know what? No. F you guys. All these people that live in the middle of the country don't even know about lightning. We're in the lightning capital of the world. One of at least. The thing is with these challenges is if we fail, we try again. Just because this challenge went wrong doesn't mean the next 10 challenges that we do in a row are going to go wrong. What up, Merrick? Oh, he made it, dude! We didn't think you were gonna make dude, it. I, didn't think I was gonna make it. I was out like 30 miles and just seen them storms brewing out there. Oh my oh, gosh. God. We thought we were gonna have to evacuate up until a few minutes ago. The lightning was going nuts. I was cutting fish. The whole oh sky is just like electrocuting itself. Right? What up, dude? We got the boys. Howdy, bro. It's we, got, my favorite, we got the boys out here. We got Scumbledore. We got Stick Bug. We got William. We got Merrick over there. We're just hanging out. It's kind of like a little hippie commune now. It's pretty tight. The boys are showing up. There's lightning in the distance. I've never been so close to quitting a challenge than when this lightning came in earlier. 
Not gonna lie, folks. It was either gonna start going gnarly or just die out. It does, it's never in the middle. It's... I kissed your mom um. twice. What's on the mouth? Wait, are you Duke Scott? Are you <laughs> We are John Squid. <laughs> 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 They're sharks! No! <laughs> this is like a laugh track, dude. This is like a Jay and Silent Bob's attack. <laughs> These guys are legends. Come get on. Are you my Tinder date? That's not the deal I signed up for. <laughs> Can you guys swim? Yeah. Are you strong swimmers? I'm an okay swimmer. Well, we got we got a pool in case anything. That's not what I wanted to hear. I'm an okay swimmer. That would be my answer too. Oh my god. Oh, look at these strokes. Okay swimmers. <laughs> Just don't grab the pool. Go grab the board. Go grab the buoy. Yeah, go grab to the buoy. <laughs> Hey, seriously, hey, you guys hey, need help. Slow down. Hey, hey, don't grab the top. You gotta grab the top, but there's not barnacles on. Yeah. Oh, shit, It'll dude. lay over. Don't, no, 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 stop, stop. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> Are you holding on to the buoy? There you go. Oh, hold on don't hold on to the buoy, man. No, no you can hold on no, to the buoy. No, you can the top, not the bottom. That's what I was saying, you gotta walk up. I'm like wounded. You're, You're wounded? Why are you wounded? Because we just swim all the way. This is not the first time we've had fans Margo. swim out for a 24 hour oh, challenge. Margo, man. Yeah, boys. Oh my God. Can you say something about the barnacles? How you doing, scum? Nice. Oh, Looks see, great. So what's going on, guys? <laughs> We're just hanging out, you know, just vibing. You guys are cracking us up from shore. Are we still guys floating out here? We're like. We're, We're like, like oh, like, who, are those, who are those motherfuckers out there on the raft? We're like, Juke Squad's house is right here. Juke Squad's house. Juke Squad, really Juke Squad. And then you guys jump back and we're like, oh my God, it's Juke Squad. That's the greatest story I've ever heard. I know. Alright, like, we're just out here. We're just <laughs> just so bad. Eric you know, almost just on pissed on himself. <laughs> Watching me go lights out, we're gonna get a lightning strike. Into my own. Bro, this bird is so Will just freaked out because there was a hammerhead. Bro, bro, that's a baby Loch Ness. Oh my gosh. Dude, they released the Loch Ness monster in the Gulf. All right. That thing didn't get very high off the Got some fireworks, that's cool. Fourth of July coming. I'm going full homeless. I got cardboard. What's crazy is like, this is the water. Like this is the most water waterbed ever. I'm sleeping on the Gulf of Mexico. Nearly 2 a.m. The boys are gonna call it a night. I'm gonna try to wake up for sunrise. We'll see. Sunrise. back I woke up with an entirely soaked back. The true meaning of a wet back right here coming back into, into the States. Your back's wet? Soaked. Your wet back? That not anything to do with the fact that you're Mexican. It could be that too. Okay. Is that racist? Yeah. Because Mexican are cut and Rio Grande are wet. How'd you sleep, Scummy? In and out. Me too, I woke up for sunrise though. I saw it. You hear those guys talk about us? Hey, it's Banks and Lonnie. <laughs> what up guys? I didn't know you were turning into ducks this morning. They came right up, huh? 
Oh my god, it's two baby Loch Ness monsters! Good morning, I knew I bought this thing for something. Wake up, Jack! Oh. Oh. <laughs> you awake? Hey. Yeah, it's like 7.30. It's at least 7.30. <laughs> you want more? No, thank you. You sure? Yes. All right. Look at how daytime it is. There's so many people at the beach. Uh-huh. Now comes the least fun part of the challenge. It being hot as <laughs> We got grubs. Oh. <laughs> they haven't sabotaged us yet, that's good. So now we just have to sit here for five hours in the sun and in the heat. It is the hottest it's ever been in the history of mankind anywhere on planet Earth. It is currently 146 degrees. Crazy is how clear the water is today. I'm gonna move us to the sandbar. I'm building a cave. Been doing this my whole life. I recently saw it go viral online and I was like, damn, I should have made a video of this. Making a mask with your hands. Now we're gonna go check out the reef because the visibility is insane. Pierce brought me a mask and fins, and yeah, we didn't get that at Walmart, but for the sake of content, and the fact that I'm gonna burn a ton of energy doing this. Gonna have to do a catch and cook out here. There's so many fish down there. We could be making dinner right now. I need to get a spear gun out here. You don't have one? I have one. I just don't have one with me. Because you're not allowed to bring a spear gun from the beach to out here.
soon as the sun gets covered, it's not very fun diving out here, so. Yeah, look at that giant tarpon got to swim down to the reef It's been a good day Haven't left the ocean yet. We're still surviving people are getting in our rafts what? Just kidding <laughs> Dude, the ocean's playful right now. Look at these guys Little baby feet there Go, 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 don't lose your boy, there's one left. There we go. That was cool. Yeah. School of sheep's head swim. Splitting the gap between us. Those are juvenile sheep's head too. They weren't even ready for the rocks out there. That's why they're hanging out on the inside. Sick. So they get big and they go hang out out there then? Yep. That's cool. Three hours left, and where is Jack? What are you doing? Is that your shade? The sun is hot. I am getting sunburnt. Neither of us bought sunblock at Walmart. I will remember that for next time. I don't wear that. <laughs> hey, man. Trying to catch a tan. All right. That wraps up today's challenge. If you guys have any ideas for what you want to see us do for another survival challenge, 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, comment down below. We also are going to start to become reliant on you guys to make content. YouTube isn't really paying us anymore, so if you guys want to check out our Patreon and support the dream, we've never asked any money ever, but since YouTube isn't paying us, we see a lot of creators doing really well on Patreon, so whatever you think our content's worth, Go show some love. You'll get some bonus content. Shout out to Scummy. Woo! Oh, you're getting, you're getting sunburned, dude. Try not to die, okay? Get your merch online. Love you guys, and we'll see you next time for a new video. Peace!